Lokir Felhart. Since his great-great-grandfather first fought in the Battle of the Waves, Lokir's destiny has been set to rule the Tower of Blessed Dread and to prove his worth on the dangerous oceans. When Lokir first took command, he led his followers to an attack on the elven port of Tor Canabre in the kingdom of Iatain. In the deepest winter, the Black Ark and its fleet crept out of Karond Kar, shrouded by blizzards and storms. Bringing snows and lightning with them, Lokir's warriors descended upon the town and razed it to the ground, as a statement that the Fell Hearts had returned. When Lokir's fame from the Tor Canabre raid began to dwindle, he set out southwards in search of treasure, with which to decorate the Fell Hearts' palaces. Past Arnheim he sailed, leaving the High Elf colony to lesser raiders. Along the Vampire Coast he sailed, sinking ships crewed by the dead and fighting off boarding parties of rotted zombies and animated skeletons. Lokir's target was not the settlements of Pirate Cove, nor the teeming temple cities of the Lizardmen. He was intent upon the sunken city of Chupayotl in southern Lustria, the watery grave of the Old One's secrets. Lokir led his fleet to the coast where the sunken city lay and anchored his feet above Chupayotl, with seven sorceresses hired from the Dark Convent, he cloaked his warriors with magic that allowed them to breathe underwater. Thus protected Lokir led the most daring raid ever on the drowned city of the Ancients. In the submerged ruins of the city, the Dark Elves battled with aquatic beasts. Gigantic squids and immense manta rays assailed them, and they fought amongst the jagged ruins against the disconcerting aquatic descendants of the ancient rulers of the jungle. Against this adversity, Lokir triumphed, returning to the surface with chests laden with gold, magical artefacts that would fetch a high price in Grond, and ancient stone plaques containing the secrets of the Old Ones. His place in history had been sealed. <laughs>